neighbor my name is Hannah and welcome back to my channel pretty hippie me and welcome back to the third shopping vlog in a row for Fridays when I have been on this one particular summer wardrobe mission so okay here's the thing I have been trying <laughs> I've been trying to get some specific clothing pieces for the summer, partly because I've gained weight and I just need stuff that fits me. Shirts, I'm really bad at buying. I always forget about them because I find everything else in the wardrobe to just be more interesting. Jumpsuits are really easy and like great pieces for me to wear to work. And then third, and most importantly for today, first priority, honestly some kind of a swim top. Now, I, I'm dumb. I'm not dumb. I was getting ready at three in the morning, okay? I forgot this morning to get the two bikini bottoms that I'm trying to match a swim top with. I have these two different swim bottoms from two different bikini sets. Both of those bottoms fit me, but both of the tops are not good for me for a variety of reasons. These two swim bottoms have a decent amount of crossover in the color palettes, so I'm trying to find <laughs> a swim top that ideally would match both of them if not just matching one of them because this weekend I'm leaving in two days I'm going to Maryland to visit some family my boyfriend and I are staying in a hotel we have plans to go swimming and I, I can't swim with no swim top like I physically can but it's not appropriate so I need something today I'm not gonna leave this store with nothing <laughs> Ideally what I'm looking for is a swim top that is either like white or black, easy, maybe like gold or silver or some other kind of metallic, or in terms of colorful, both of the swim bottoms that I'm working with have like a light orange color, a magenta color, and like a teal green color that I can pull from. I have them in my mind. This is a very specific task that I'm setting out to do, and I have no idea if it's gonna work, but I need to make something happen. So let's get in there. First priority, swimsuit. Second priority, shirts and jumpsuits if I happen to see something. Also, I'm very tired, so I don't wanna be shopping for a really long time today. Uh, yeah, that's it, friends. Let's get shopping, let's get in there so I can get home. <laughs> I walked into my local Walmart with decently high hopes because I've always found them to be size inclusive, even if the styles that they have in my sizes are not always amazing. And I've also found over the past few years that their clothes have been getting more stylish. I specifically had good luck with their swimsuits last year, so I figured I could come here and at least find something. I started out this journey much more focused on my swimwear mission. I made a beeline through the juniors department over to the swimwear section. Upon first glance, I saw a lot of pretty things, but not a lot of what I was looking for that day. Even though I felt like I went in with a lot of different potential color options that would work, white, black, gold, silver, magenta, teal, green, purple, when I actually got onto the floor, I saw that just because I imagined something did not mean that it existed in the store. For example, I was really happy to see this collection of white bikini tops, but I realized they were a junior's fit, and because there were no double XLs, I couldn't even try them on. I could tell just by looking at them that none of them would work for my cup size. Thankfully, I quickly found a similar collection of black bikini top styles. Nothing wrong with classic black, I suppose, especially since this is where I'm actually finding the 1Xs instead of the XLs. Ooh, I do enjoy a halter on myself. I don't know about this ribbed thing. I mean, it is Walmart, so my expectations are not high, but I wish there weren't so many, like, shoved together on this rack. This could be cute. I think this is too big for me. What size are you, pal? Please don't fall. You are size 2X. Okay, yeah, if I have this in a 1X. Ooh, no, now it's ugly. I'm gonna try this Halter XL just in case. Just because I know that this is a very flattering neckline on me and who knows it. Ooh, no, 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 that tie back. Mm -mm. It's not gonna be able to withstand what I have going on. The 1X might fit though. Yeah, I'll give that a shot. I'd rather try it than have nothing. Usually when I go shopping, I pick up one thing just so that I have something to take to the dressing room. I kind of call it an icebreaker in my head. <laughs> so it opens the door to trying stuff on. So that's my icebreaker. Ooh, this is super pretty. This forest green cover-up, are you joking me? <gasps> 1996. 
but like worth it <laughs> we have a medium and a 2x um i don't mind 2x here i come i am not afraid to size up to get something cute seeing this swimwear wall got me back on track I didn't see many tops that I thought would work, so I looked at my phone for guidance and found myself back at square one. So I just looked at some footage that I have of myself with the swim bottoms. Black is not present in either of the swim bottoms, so the black top is really a plan D, and I'm hoping I can establish a plan A, B, and C that are better. <laughs> I picked up this emerald green one. The largest size they have in it on the floor is an XL, which is questionable, but at least this color is actually in at least one of the swim bottoms, so I feel better about this than the black ones. I was thinking about one of these pink ones, but the pink that's in the swim bottom is more of a magenta in both of the swim bottoms. So I don't really, I don't know, it's not gonna, it's not gonna match. I was thinking about trying these like goldenrod yellow ones, but I really don't like the ruffle for me. Somebody with a different silhouette, that would look gorgeous, but it's just not for me, I think. I went through again and scoured every inch of the swimwear department looking for what was turning out to be my Moby Dick, a swimwear top in a neutral color or a corresponding color to my swim bottoms that was also in my size. And as I said before, there were a lot of pretty things and a lot of pretty sets out there, just not really what I was looking for. Okay, I think that all the swimsuits are here in this like swimwear section, but I'm gonna walk over to the actual plus size apparel section and see if there's anything over there that I might be missing. Maybe there'll be more plus size tops. Maybe a white one, that would be great. I didn't know white was so hard to find. You know, uh, Walmart is one of those places that is not the most fashion forward. But if you know how to style stuff and put outfits together, you can absolutely make use of the stuff that is here. And especially the past few years, it's been getting better and better. And it has a decent amount of size options too. Unfortunately, there was no plus size swimwear hiding in the plus size department, but I was able to find some clothes. Ooh, good little tops that I can wear to work. This was on my list. Along the way, I had an idea. Okay, call me crazy, but like, what about wearing a bralette or a sports bra? Because honestly, at what point does a bra turn into a swim top? I don't know the line. What is the distinction? Am I wrong though? Do these not look just like swim tops? Hello? What is the difference? <laughs> I'm just gonna wear a bralette maybe, I don't know. Out of curiosity and some desperation, I decided to follow through on this idea. Okay, you know what? Just for giggles, this magenta sports bra right here, there's a double XL right in the front. I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna try it out. With that said and done, I was off to the dressing room. Okay, I'm at the dressing room. I went around and picked up a few more things that I thought were interesting when I was looking around before. So we have a full like try on situation here. We're gonna start with the swim tops and a bralette, some very cool pants and some shorts that I found. And then we'll move on to some other garments. Also, there's these two really cute old ladies running the fitting rooms over here very like professional like taking their jobs very seriously thank you so much pandemic essential worker elderly fam love you guys okay i definitely like this black swim top i love this neckline on me i feel a little bit unsupported right now and i feel like it looks a little loose and a little droopy but i know that if I have help putting it on, which I usually do from my boyfriend, then we can secure it enough that it's not going to look so kind of droopy. And it's only $16.88, so even if we can't make it look better, it's not a very expensive risk. I think everything I picked up is under $20, so like, thank you Walmart. Um, these shorts are like, fine. They're okay for try-on purposes, but I don't think I'm gonna take them home. The material is a little too thin, so I'm getting a little bit of front wedgie and weird amount of like rollage and stuff that I'm not really into, so. So, you know, they're okay for limited purpose. Also, I forgot to mention this top is a size 1X from Time and True, and these straps are removable, so if you wanted to crisscross them in the back, you could do that. They're also adjustable here. It's got good stuff going on. All right, off we go. 
Okay, I'm not gonna spend too long in this because I think I need the next size up. This is the double XL and I think I need the three XL, but I do like the idea of this a lot. Having just tried on a swim top, they feel very similar. <laughs> so why not, you know? What makes me say that I think I need a size up is how clearly you can see the little like foam cup things defined. They're being pressed against the top. So I think one size up will make that not so visible. There's also like some wrinkliness going on in here and I don't love that. Yeah, we got a little bit of spillage here. But I think if I got the next size up, it could be really fun and really flattering. I think I am gonna get it. I will let you know how it works as a swim top. Okay, this green swim top is definitely my favorite. The color is a dead ringer for one of the colors in one of my swim bottoms. So I know I can at least get it for that one. And if I have the magenta one as well, I think we'll have both swim bottoms covered, which is awesome. That being said, I got this in a size XL from Diamond True. Um, as you can see, one of my boobs is not cooperating with the size. So I wish that there was a double XL on the floor or that there was just less of this like push up padding in it. But you know, it is what it is. Honestly, it's super cute, definitely sexy. And there are a couple of adjustments that I can make once I own it. I can adjust it in the back a little bit so that hopefully it's not so like popping. <laughs> I love the swim top. I'm definitely getting it. It's also $16.88, so like, thank you for the value, Walmart. And these pants are super cute. They're a little bit tight in the hips, but like, I kind of don't care. They're also like $17. What the heck, man? They feel like linen because of the print being as like fun and exciting as it is. I almost feel like people aren't going to notice that it's a little tight. Or even if they do, I don't care. I did see these on the floor in a size up though, so maybe I can get those, I don't know. I'll think about it. I'm not in love with them, but I think that they are fun, so maybe. We'll see. This would be super fun to wear to work. <laughs> I don't know. I'll think about it, but I'm definitely getting the swim top. I picked up this button-down tank in an XL and a double XL in both this olive green and black. This is the olive green XL. Also, it's from Time and True, by the way. And I feel like this fits well. I'm very surprised at how nice it is on my hips, specifically. It's a little bit of pull here at the boob, but I think it'll be okay. I think I can get over it. It's $12, so I can get this one and the black one in an XL. Definitely not breaking the bank. Some nice, easy shirts for work and looks cute with these pants. Just saying. I am falling for these pants more and more because they're just so easy to wear to work, you know? Fun, colorful, comfy, make the coworkers smile without being uncomfortable. I like that. I'm so happy. <laughs> this is another size XL from Time and True. Just an easy, simple work tank top. Or I could wear it casually, honestly, because I do enjoy it. It looks like denim, but it feels like a soft little t-shirt. You've got this ruffle here emphasizing the shoulder, which I like for my frame. It goes with the pants, goes with everything. <laughs> And the last shirt had this too. I love how low cut the armpit is. I've mentioned on this channel a few times, I have sweat problems. I'm a big girl, I drink a lot of caffeine. It is what it is. The armpit, by being this low, it's out of the danger zone for sweat stains. So thank God for that. That is always on my mind when I'm choosing shirts, which is also probably why I don't have many. I'm always worried about sweating on them but I think this is gonna be so awesome, so practical. It's gonna go with so many pants and skirts and whatever else goes with shirts. <laughs> and it's $10, just saying. <laughs> okay, this one is a double XL from Time and True, but a lot of the same positives. Cute, appropriate for work, has this cute crochet on the shoulder to, you know, kind of give it a little emphasis, a little something something going on. The fabric is a little bit like a thin sweater, which I wasn't sure how I would feel about that, but now that I have it on, it's totally fine. It is a double XL, so you can definitely see the difference in the sizing, especially because this fabric likes to stretch out. But I'm thinking, one, I can tuck it in, and two, I think because it's so stretchy, I can make a nice little knot 
pretty easily. So that might be something to work with. Pretty cute, pretty easy, not a big deal, you know. $12, not breaking the bank. I promise I'm gonna get out of these pants now. I'm sure some of you think they're hideous. <laughs> but I wanted to keep them on for a little bit to see if the more I wear them, the more they might kind of warm up and loosen up. They have not done so, really. But that's okay because I don't plan to get any bigger and when I do lose weight a lot of the bloating from here is gonna go down so they're cute enough now they'll be even cuter later whatever I like them I'm gonna take them now I have probably saved the best for last so let me get to that okay I was wrong <laughs> I thought I saved the best for last, but I really, I'm not really into this dress. I don't think I'm gonna get it. It's different from what I usually try on, so it was good for me to just try it, see how it looks on me. But I feel like there's other silhouettes that are better for my figure. However, let me show you one more thing, which I think is the real best thing. I'm so sorry that I was so wrong. <laughs> It baited both of us into thinking this was gonna look cute. This is a 2X and I really need a XL, maybe a 1X, but in time and true, which is this brand, XLs seem to be fitting the top half of me best. Sorry to both of us, but I do think it's really pretty and I might order it online in an XL. At least you can kind of get the idea of it. Also, by the way, the dress is also from Time and True. It's a double XL, which is not the same as their like 1X or 2X. I don't really know why they do that within their own line. I have a lot of thoughts about brands that do that. XL, double XL, 1X, 2X, and like have all of these different confusing X's, but whatever, it is what it is. So both of these items are gonna be a no, but I'm glad I tried this on just to see. And this I'm going to hunt down and buy in my size as soon as humanly possible, perhaps in multiple colors. And I'm not just gonna wear it to the beach. I'm gonna wear it everywhere and I'm gonna feel like a pretty princess. And that is my right as an American. All right, <laughs> I'll see you in a minute. Okay, we're back in the car, we're done shopping, and I'm pretty happy with the haul. It did turn into a haul because I got like six things that I showed you in the fitting room, the green swim top, the floral Hawaiian pants, and four shirts. And then I also, because I had such good luck, honestly, with the bra that I picked off the rack without trying it on from Target, I did that at Walmart too. <laughs> I just need a few bras right now. I got rid of a bunch because they were all like broken in various ways. So <laughs> I have been picking up a couple here and there, including, by the way, one that absolutely mystifies me and I might make a whole video just about wearing this bra. I saw something and I couldn't unsee it and I was like, I have to have it and I have to try it. And I have to see what the heck will happen with this. I'm so happy. Like, finding the swim tops was nice. I did go and get that magenta one in the 3XL, by the way. They're fine. I'm going to wear the green one around my boyfriend. And if I go swimming around my family, I'll wear the magenta one. They're cute. They're comfortable enough. They work enough. And they were cheap enough that... I don't mind having an inexpensive risk, but the shirts, the shirts, I can't, like, I'm so freaking picky when it comes to shirts, and to be able to pick up four shirts at once is huge, especially for my professional wardrobe, like, thank God. Again, they're not, like, amazing, incredible shirts you've never seen before, but for somebody like me who has really colorful, interesting, like, pants and skirts and shorts and stuff, they're the perfect type of tops for me, okay? So I'm excited about it. At the end of the day, my grand total was 138 ish dollars. That doesn't necessarily help you because of the extra things that I added in, but I did say the prices of everything individually as I went along trying them out. Hopefully that helps you if you're looking for like price point estimates and stuff. I'll also say just in general, compared to Target, Walmart runs a little bit big, or at least their Time and True brand. So just keep that in mind when you're shopping Time and True at Walmart. Just about everywhere else, I'm a double XL or a 1X on top right now, and I'm an XL there. So, all right, I've got to go home. 
I've got to stop shopping. I've got to stop spending money and thank God I feel like I really can now. Please let me know what you think about everything I tried on in this video in the comments below. Do you think the sports bra is going to work as a swim top? Like is it just me who thinks like they're aren't they basically the same? And your thoughts on shopping at Walmart in general. What did you think taking a look at the styles that they're offering this spring and summer? Does it make you want to shop there? While you're down there commenting, I do hope that you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and set your notifications to all so you can keep in touch with everything going on here in the neighborhood. The neighborhood is growing. I'm really excited about it. I'm really grateful to recent subscribers. I'm really trying to reach a goal of 10,000 subscribers like as soon as possible. YouTube is telling me. <laughs> It's gonna take a really long time before I get to 10k. I want to see if we, with our willpower and with our human strength, can overcome the algorithm and just make it happen faster. I think that we can do it together. And on that note, I will see you next for Monday live stream. Please join us on Monday nights at 6 30 p.m. EST to hang out together, talk about some topics, Whatever you want to bring into the chat, whatever you want to talk about is totally welcome. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you and your time and the fact that you are spending your time here with me. So much love. Bye.